I wanted to give slide film another try. I've shot it twice now and have had mixed results. The first time I shot in 2021 and it was a Provia 100F. Now most of these images came out a bit overexposed on my Mamiya RZ, but a couple of them turned out pretty decent in my opinion. The second time was earlier in 2023 when I traveled to New York City with some Ektachrome 100. I was looking for better results with this this time around, especially since my Nikon F3 had an internal light meter. Now some of these shots definitely came out pretty well, but I knew I still had a lot of work to do with mastering slide film. Which brings us to today's video. I grabbed my Nikon F5 and my model Deja and we circled around downtown Milwaukee on a bright sunny day to give slide film one more shot. Third time's the charm, right? All the images you're seeing in the video moving forward are unedited scans from the lab. Without further ado, let's dive more into the video. Also make sure you like it if you enjoyed it, as well as subscribe to the channel. Thanks and enjoy. Hold up, we might be cooking with something here. Okay. Three, two, and one. Yeah, I'm shooting at F11 right now. Um, ISO 100, of course, I'm not doing anything special with this film here, shooting it right at box speed. I'm gonna do one like this, because I don't like those people in my background. They're not bad though, they add to the aesthetic. Three. Three, two, and one. Hey, it's me again. So after the first set of images, I figured I'd jump in and ask you all what you thought. Let me know in the comments. I know Ektachrome is a saturated and vibrant film stock, and I can definitely see that when looking at Dazer's skin tones and the red lipstick pop on the side film. I also loved the background with meter correctly. I really made an effort to make sure that I knew where the sun was coming in so I didn't have blown out skies. Slide film is super unforgiving in terms of exposure, so I tried my best to make sure I got it right on the Nikon F5's internal light meter. The next set of images you're seeing on the screen didn't turn out too hot in my opinion. I feel that the shadows were too deep for the specific clean style of portrait that I was trying to achieve. I also didn't do a good job with meeting for the shadows and exposing for the darkest part of my image so that you can actually retain some details within the shadows. <laughs> Three, two, and... One. Okay. All right, to the bridge. Anywho, Days is up here at the top. We're gonna put this at all the way at 120 millimeters and see what we can get. We'll probably also get one at a, maybe like 35 as well, cause the sky is really beautiful but the sun is coming, shooting like directly towards the lens. So um, we'll make it work. We'll see what these shots look like, y'all. I hope the highlights ain't like too blown out. I might even underexpose it just by a stop to see, but we'll, we'll, we'll take the shot. We'll just stop talking. All right, that's lovely right there. Let me get you in focus here. All right, three, two, and one. Ooh. Try to lean and then I'll come like over here and shoot again. Or not, yeah, 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 that's. Yeah, that's fine, we could try that. Um, otherwise, if you just wanna like gently relax yourself there too, that's fine. Yeah, whatever is easier. I don't know, I'm gonna get one more at like 35 here. And then we'll go, we'll move on or figure something out. I don't want to waste too many because I, again, hope the highlights are blown out, but my light meter is telling me perfect exposure. So fingers crossed. At the time, you guys will be seeing the images on the screen, so we'll know if they worked or not. But you know, fingers crossed still. It's in the moment. It'll probably make more sense if I was live streaming, right? My camera woman's looking at me like I'm crazy. All right. All right, ready? I quit. <laughs> I 
All right, three, two, and one. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, you can come down. We're gonna walk over to like our uh, other spot that we are referring to over here. I really enjoyed these images of Deja on top of the spiral ramp. Not only was I able to capture a lot of the environment with the 24 to 120 f4 lens, but I also feel that a lot of these shots were metered correctly. After reviewing the images back from my lab, I was starting to think that Ektachrome gives you the best results, probably in nice even lighting. But then again, I've only shot slide film three times and Ektachrome two out of those three times. So y'all let me know in the comments your ideal shooting scenarios for slide film. I plan on shooting more slide film in an attempt to define more of my film style. I think it can definitely be a nice addition to my workflow. So this is one of the other spots that Deja and I shot at about five years ago or so. There's a little rustic ramp and we're gonna get some more shots over here. Um, see about manipulating more of the sun, getting in the back of us versus shining directly towards us like we did over here on the um, little windy bridge and probably finish up our road. We got about seven shots left or so, so we'll make it work. Three, two, and, and one. All right. Um, By low, I thought you meant like sit on the ground. I, I, I'm, I'm about to actually and try to give that a shot here. See it. I mean, sitting on the ground is like kind of wild, but we'll make it work. Uh, try kicking your foot out real quick. I just want to see what we look looking like. You're at F10 now, so do you see a zero at all? What, how, what, what percentage or what do you see in the, on the line where it says, does it say plus or minus or anything? Plus okay, so you probably want to go back the opposite way. You're going high up in aperture, so you want to go back and keep going until, like you can keep going until it, it uh, tells you that it's metered even. Do you see a zero? Nope. Would you see again close the line getting closer to the yeah. middle though? Okay, so 7.1. You gonna use vertical mode or landscape? Whichever you want me to do, but my ass hurts. You got it, whichever you want. If, 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 she's, if she's kicking, it's probably better that way. If you would then probably lean up and try to get underneath it some. Yeah, 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 look at you. Look at this, this, this is. I was gonna say, you want the backpack as back support? Look, look at hashtag girl power, short girl power, y'all. <laughs> Can't nobody hold this heavy ass camera forever. You got it, baby, I, I believe in you. Make sure that it saves at zero. Oh, look at that, y'all! How did that feel? How did that feel? Take this. <laughs> Make sure, of course, to like the video if you enjoyed it, as well as click that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, so you don't miss any upcoming content like this. Thank you again, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.